So we made it to Turkey. Benjamin is very happy. We are going to Kanakale with the ferry. From Amsterdam we crossed the border with Germany during the lockdown. Showered in the Dono. Went to Austria in the middle of the night and stayed in an amazing mountain lodge. Visited the lavender fields in Hungary. Drove to Croatia along the most beautiful coast roads. Were amazed by the beauty of Montenegro. Did a detour via Serbia and Bulgaria. To finally reach Turkey. day and then we're on our destination so we're gonna take our breakfast here and then pack up our stuff and then we're gonna drive uh, to Didam. Didam here we come, Yachtworks here we come, Perfect Sense here we come. Yeah. Packed up our stuff and now we're leaving. We said goodbye mm -hmm. to everyone. They are so nice. We got lavender vinegar and it was just amazing huh? Yeah it's such an amazing spot and yeah. This guy, he really has a dream and he's realizing it. And, and he's so good and kind. And yeah, he's such a good person. Yeah. yeah, and I would love to come back each year to see how it developed. How it developed, yeah. <laughs> but first, we're uh, finding our perfect sense. going somewhere and you don't you know that your home is there but you don't know the place no and you don't know in what state is your home is right now no and you don't know the people we who took care of her yeah. so it's it's, yeah, it's a strange feeling Over there! There! We saw it already when we came and we drove, we took the wrong turn. But the perfect sense is inside in, here. In the first or the second. Our thing. mast, our mast is here. Is this our mast? Yeah. This is our mast. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. If I look at the oh my goodness. <laughs> but I think she's behind there. Yeah? Yeah, she's behind, behind there. Okay. okay. Let's go for it. So, 5000 kilometers later and now we are here. Inside? Okay. Oh. Oh. So here she is. I th but I think that's that's Emre. That must be Emre. Yes. Ah, oh, finally! Nice to see you. Hi, nice to see you. Whoa, Bucks! Oh. <laughs> Welcome, nice to see you. We're here. During the three weeks, we wait for the rain to dry the deck because okay. under the peak it was wet, you know. Okay. That's why so much humidity to the surface. Okay. In three weeks, we uh, wait now. Uh, Two days ago, our guys had closed the hole okay. before spring hole with epoxy. Yeah. Now he's already sanding. Okay. Monday we will start with you. Whoa. Sunset, sea, waves, empty beach.
Good morning. This is our rake up. Benjamin is full of rake. I'm still raking up because Rihanna woke up at 3 o'clock. There was a car coming and it was signing with the, with the lights. So I woke up and we waited and we we're thinking what's, what's going on, what's happening. But we didn't figure it out and at 5 o'clock he left again. So, but I just slept for two hours and we're gonna have the morning uh, swim. Benjamin, are you gonna join? The beach here is fantastic, it's sandy. And you can walk for 200 meters. Yeah, but today we are going to the boatyard because they're gonna start with the tea thing. Ah. So uh, we're gonna help them. Six Turkish men, they were fishing and drinking Turkish rakia and they explained me the history of this beautiful place but they also told me that this is a famous place for immigrants to cross so today because we have to, uh, to work on the boat for almost two months so we decided we got to search for a small place to stay we can sleep well and uh, do a road trip, but not constantly in the in the car anymore. So, ready for the swim, Benjamin? So, on my way to the boatyard, to leave Benjamin and Rihanna behind and to take Lily to the boatyard and to do some work on the perfect sense. Finally! It's kind of a, another feeling to leave the family behind and not be together and go to my job. But I really love it. So what we do is, Benjamin will start uh, going to sleep. I can work for five hours on the boat and then I come back So this is uh, boat work for me at the moment, just behind my laptop, figuring out everything because we want to upgrade to lithium batteries, maybe a hydro generator, solar power to get natural friendly as much as possible without using the generator and the engine. So just on sales, we have to change a lot. So probably the rigging, but we have to check it. Teak deck is now replaced. The hull needs a new color and um, there are a lot of small stuff inside the boat what needs to be uh, done but first it's a lot of investigation to check out everything and to find out how it works because uh, you can imagine that if you are somewhere stuck on the middle of the ocean and you have a problem you want to know what kind of problem you have you want to understand it instead of just letting it installed by somebody else so i'm figuring out everything there is a great uh, facebook group of our boat it's the benito 57 owners group 
and a lot of knowledge and uh, information is over there. So I'm in contact with them. I'm also in contact with the, the person who sold us the Perfect Sense in first glance. So yeah, getting all the contacts up to speed and figuring out uh, what we can do and how we can organize it. So this is boat work. I did my first complete list of all the nits, bits and pieces what needs to be done. And on the other hand, I can show you because this is the best view you can have. This is the perfect sense. I have to admit when I entered, uh, I saw her for the first time, I was a little bit scared because she's not looking that good. There's a new built catamaran over here. They are working on it. And they just finished the paint job on this beauty. They do everything here. It's a new teak deck. And they just got this uh, Halber Rassi. They are um, doing a lot of work on a Halber Rassi because the owner of the boatyard, or one of the owners, is um, circumnavigating the world as well with his Halber Rassi. That's one of the reasons we feel and felt comfortable because they are sailors themselves and they know what it means. And this is the mast. Can you imagine? 22 meters aluminium. And this is the big cables, the standing rigging, you call it. And we're gonna check if we're gonna replace it, yes or no. Then we have another piece of, uh, of the boat. This is the keel. It's uh, almost 6,000 kilos of lead who keeps the boat stable with the mast on. So without keel, you're lost. It really is like a puzzle to get all the bits and pieces of the teak deck there to create a new teak deck here on the perfect sensor so we are only replacing it's just the biggest part but the aft deck uh, we are not replacing the cockpit and the chairs uh, or the the steps at the aft because they are always covered so the condition of that is good uh, but we had to replace the deck I'm getting back to Rihanna and Benjamin because Benjamin woke up and Rihanna is not uh, that movable with her ankle. So um, that's it for today here at the boatyard. Tomorrow another day. I found a shortcut so we don't have the entrance of the hotel. So, we're cleaning our house after 5,000 kilometers, five weeks of living in Lily. She was getting really dirty and I made a deal with these guys. They don't speak any word of English. So it was all with hands and feet, but we managed yeah, to get her clean inside, outside. So they said, I agreed with full surface. So I took everything out because we, uh, we were standing next to the seaside, a lot of salt water and salt water and Land Rovers is a bad combination. So, now to the boatyard to check the teak deck, uh, to do some work on the laptop and then go back to, uh, to Rian and Benjamin because I think they are awake already. fun because every time you get to the boat something new is happening over there so I'm really curious what the uh, progress is today montage montage puzzle puzzle 
Three? Yes. Today? Yes. Today. Okay. I think these are the rates. They put rates on it. This is the rate, is it? Yeah. This is the real ca carpenter. Who's the man? So this is our office. We are underneath the Beneteau 57. It is almost finished. We are getting there. <laughs> 